Hey, what is up guys? Uh, welcome back to another exciting episode on the channel. Uh, today I have a wonderful guest that is sitting right next to me. Um, his name is Zilei Zhang and uh, we met last year in Shanghai. Uh, some of you guys already know I am back uh, almost every year in Shanghai trying to do uh, kind of a boot camp style teaching for high school students. And so here, uh, Zilei, uh, he was last year's mentor assistant, is what we called it last year. Yeah, mentor uh, assistant. Yeah, and so he helped me out with a lot of the questions uh, from uh, all of the high school students and some college students last year. And so he did a fantastic job for me, and all of the students loved him. Uh, only him, not the other two. No, just kidding. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and yeah, why don't you uh, give us you know, a little introduction of what you do right now? Sure. Okay, a little bit of introduction about myself. My name is Ye Zhang. I'm currently a junior, yeah, rising junior uh, at University of Pennsylvania. And uh, I study computer science there, uh, mostly computer science, uh, although my program is called Network and Social System Engineering. But uh, an easier way to understand this is more like computer science. Uh, and last year, I um, stepped into the world of mobile engineering and uh, yeah. iOS engineering. And uh, Brian teach me, ta taught me a, a whole bunch of things. So yeah, I'm very into mobile engineering right now. Mobile yeah. engineering. Mobile engineering, and you kind of specialize in iOS development right now? More specializing in iOS, yes. Right, right. Mm. Okay, so uh, I know that you worked as an intern, what was it, for like six weeks? Or? For, no, 10 weeks. 10 weeks, mm. okay. So 10 weeks is a pretty long time, and you worked at this really, really gigantic company in China called Little Red Book or Xiao Hong Shu. Yeah. And they're pretty massive, right? The, I wouldn't say massive, it's, it's considerably big. Uh, we have a thousand employees all together and half of them are engineers. And for mobile engineers, we have like um, uh, 60 people working on uh, the iOS, iOS side and 60 more on the Android side. So uh, what are some of the things that you've learned over the past like 10 weeks of finishing the internship at like Little Red Book? I know you probably worked on the entire code base, uh, at least from the iOS stack, right? There's a lot of code, and over the 10 weeks that you spent there, you, you must have learned so much more than just going to like a regular class and like a boot camp. You, you must have learned a lot, right? Well, um, I would say it's different. Um, I wouldn't say it's uh, which environment le uh, let me learn more. Um, but yeah, I definitely touched upon a lot of code. Um, mostly, um, it's on the um, wait. What is that called? <laughs> the front end side, or yeah, it's uh, mostly on the front end, uh, front end side. Uh, so one of the big things we did was uh, rewrote our um, all the UI kit pages, our feed uh, stuff uh, from UI kit to texture, uh, also known as async display kit. So that was a lot of work, and we have to do a whole bunch of um, um, different things on layout and animations. Um, yeah, um, we really worked a lot on that. And I personally worked um, on the uh, homepage yeah. thing, and yeah, I rewrote some part of that code. Yeah, so if anyone out there is curious about what the Little Red Book app looks like, I think you can find it on the App Store called Little Red Book or Xiaohongshu? Xiaohongshu, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'll post a link for the app. And so some of the pages that um, you worked on were the home feed pages. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks pretty complicated. Uh, it looks like a collection view to me. Is it really a collection view? Yeah, it's more like a, a Pinterest style collection view. Yeah. Um, we call it like CH CH flow layout or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, and then... I'll put it up here for people that are curious what it looks like. Um, and it's it's like a Pinterest style page, uh, but we have more uh, complicated layout. Um, for example, we have the avatar on on on, on the bottom uh, of each cell, and then we have the like button, and you, you can do a lot of interactions with uh, all uh, the cells on the home page. So I would say it's a little bit more complicated than just like Pinterest style layout. Yeah, so that's kind of what I noticed too. Like when you click from one cell, it takes you to another page and there's like quite a bit of animation that goes from the actual cell to the full detail page. Is there a lot of code that is involved in getting that done? Do you know? I didn't work on that page. <laughs> but, um, I, uh, I didn't work on that that animation thing, but yeah. um, we, 
いやでもこんな<笑><笑><笑> yeah, so,、uh, I think as a lot of people realize when they get into、like、the real work and actually looking at a real code base they can finally see how much code there actually is、right? there are tons of code were you surprised like, how many lines of how many files there were I, I can't even remember, remember. it's、um, It's at the point where if you want to search for a term, you really have to customize the scope of each search. Yeah. yeah.、Um, because I think we have like 50 ish、uh, modules, and we separate all these modules into different pods、yeah. um, so that the main portion of our code looks more clean.、Um, yeah. But that really didn't help. That much because each module has a lot, a lot of code. Like, I think each module、uh, standalone can be a, a, a very large app. Yeah.、Um, so, yeah,、um, at, at upfront, you think, okay, th- this app is not so complicated. But if you really look at a code base, it's huge, it's gigantic. I see.、Mm. So, when you, you say that、uh, you separate it into modules, Did you guys separate the networking layer into a different module? Of course. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, that's one module. And also, what we're doing is we try to modularize、um, as much as we can. So, even the homepage itself is a module.、Um, we call it like explore feed or something.、Uh, and we put all、um, code that's re- relevant with、um, the homepage into a separate pod.、Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of、um, big、um, modules that are separated into code as well. Uh, into pods as well, yes. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense.、Um, I know every time I'm working on a project, once we have one main feature built out, sometimes we never want to touch that code again just to prevent breaking it.、Mm-hmm. So I feel like when you extrapolate it into a different module, a different pod, it's like much easier to control, much easier to maintain、mm-hmm. uh, as a team, too. Yeah, and also because we have different teams, we have a lot of engineers, and、uh, if we want to stay efficient, we have to separate all the code、uh, so that. Um, we, we, don't, we don't couple our work. Yeah.、Um, yeah. And so, so that some engineers, like myself, can work uh, uh, entirely inside Explore Feed, and others can work on like,、uh, posts, others can work on、uh, networking layer. And yeah, we really work on different stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome.、Uh, so, one question that we always want to ask is、uh, Do you guys work in storyboards, zibs, all code? Uh, no, <laughs> no, we, we,、uh, we, we don't use that.、Uh, and one of the reasons is because we rewrote everything in texture,、uh, in async display kit. And、um, the layout logic is very different from、uh, the traditional auto layout.、Um, in fact, the、uh, texture does not support auto layout. And it has,、um, the, its layout system is based off Yoga,、uh, which enables you to lay out things in a, more like a CSS flow layout、uh, style. Um, so, yeah, we really have our layout code in, as code inside of our code. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's kind of what I noticed too. If you're building out a simple app, then it makes a lot of sense to use a storyboard. But once you have to integrate things such as, well, you were talking to me about this the other day about testing.、Mm-hmm. Once you have to do testing,、uh, UI testing, AB testing, all that stuff, it, it gets really hard to do. Or to modify your storyboards. Right.、Mm. It's sometimes it's only possible using code.、Yeah. Yes, yes. For,、um, for example,、uh, at first,、um, not many engineers、uh, understand how、um, layout in async display works. And we really have to run it over and over again and to see like,、uh, which line、uh, caused what. And if you have all of that thing inside storyboard, of course, visually you can see. Uh, how things are inside.、Um, but uh, uh, after you run it, and especially like if you have like animations and stuff, you, you don't really understand what's going on、uh, inside of、um, the,、um, the layout. So if you want, have, want to have total control of your layout, then definitely use code. Yeah.、Uh, so everyone on this channel probably already knows that、uh, my favorite style of programming is to use code all the way.、Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, that's more efficient. Um, one of the problems that we ran into this camp and probably last year's boot camp was that all these outlets kept breaking and students kept changing the name、yeah. of outlets.、Mm. And that caused you know, so much headache that sometimes not worth it. It's very hard to debug in general. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so uh, what were some of the favorite features that you worked on at Little Red Book? Okay, uh, favorite features. Um, you mean technical wise or like. Yeah, technical or UI design, UX? <laughs> well, uh, we, we, we tried to implement what's called like in feed um, comment. Uh, so like you don't have to go to the detail page of each post to make a comment. You can just make a, a comment inside uh, the post. Uh, one of the challenges was uh, all posts need to share one single like keyboard module. Mm -hmm. We call it keyboard module, right? Mm -hmm. You have the input, you have uh, the rich text editing features yeah. um, inside our commenting system. So um, really, uh, like um, um, all posts, uh, no matter their positions, they need to share one single uh, commenting modules. And um, uh, it, it's a very big challenge on the UI side because uh, you have to know where each post is, uh, especially like which each uh, where each um, we call it node um, or like elements of the UI is yep. to uh, properly scroll each post to the place where we want the comment to start. It's more like yep. it's a little bit like um, uh, how Instagram takes care of their commenting, um, and um, uh, we also had to work on the uh, keyboard. Yep. Um, so whenever the keyboard pops up, we want the commenting module to be exactly on top of the keyboard. Yeah. So we have to listen to notifications of the keyboard um, and try to manage uh, the UIs um, on there. Yeah, that's quite a big challenge. Yeah, I think the keyboard is probably my least favorite thing to, to do in iOS. Mm -hmm. It's always something that's extremely difficult to get working correctly. Right, right. And, and also you don't, you don't know which notification to actually subscribe to yeah. because you don't want to subscribe to every event of the keyboard because and and it's it really messes your UI up a lot yeah yeah it's like keyboard will show keyboard did show yeah 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 will hide and mm. did hide mm. Uh, yeah, all pretty interesting things. I think in the boot camp, a lot of students asked me about that. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. And I just told them, nah, just forget about it. Oh. <laughs> uh. Just pretend that your UI is visible. Mm. Yeah. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, so one of my next questions that I have is, uh, so you're currently going to school right now. Yeah. Right? Mm. And you're going to your third year, third year. next year. Mm. So what are some of the things that you're studying at school that kind of helps you or helped you got, get your internship uh, for a Little Red Book, right? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of the people on this channel, they're asking, like, how do I get my first, like, foot in the door? I want to become a software engineer. I don't know exactly how to do it. Like, what are some of the things that led you to getting the internship? Mm -hmm. um, I think that everything matters. Um, so... In terms of getting the internship, uh, definitely the most important part is um, uh, data structure and algorithms. Like yep. it's a very old topic, but like, <laughs> uh, in order to land a an internship or I think any job, yep. um, no matter where you are, like I, I think it's the same in in China, in the United States, in India, um, you have to get uh, data structure and algorithm right yep. um, because that's what they really try to test you um, on. Uh, and also, uh, if you have time, you should take a look into the very basics of um, computer science, which is like uh, C programming and also memory man management and that. Um, because uh, that's the second thing they test about you is your understanding about a system, a, an operating system or like a computing system as a whole. Yeah. Um, and third, um, I would say like, um, the club that I uh, joined back in my school, uh, which uh, where, where we do uh, iOS development, it really helps because it's a very good project experience. So I think if you get like data structure algorithm right, and then your computer computer science basics right, yep. and also uh, you have a little bit of experience on uh, projects, um, like you can talk a, a quite a bit about your project, then you're in very good shape in very good shape yeah. yeah I think one of the things that I recommend is uh, I want people to be able to do like some kind of tree algorithm every time every time I get interviewed I always get asked a tree question mm -hmm. and how to do recursion mm -hmm. so I think for me that's very important and to also talk about your projects that you worked on even in your your classes right you have your group projects uh, the people that actually do the work know that they know exactly what technology went inside mm -hmm. 
I can tell right off the bat if someone just was part of a group that didn't do the real work. Uh, so I encourage people out there to actually put in the effort. That way they can actually explain what happened and how they contributed mm. to the project. Yeah. 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 Ah, okay, so last question. We're going to wrap it up here. Uh, so, uh, so something interesting that I always find is when I was going to school, I didn't know what to expect when I was going into software development work. Mm-hmm. I just thought that I was going to go inside of a company and write some kind of Java program or some kind of C++ program. But it turns out, for me at least, I found I found that you actually have to understand like the full scope of the product you guys are building out at a company. Mm-hmm. And as a software engineer, you're doing more than just coding. You're right. understanding the right. product itself, mm. what features are important, mm. and how to kind of make it so that the product team can actually launch a real product. Like, What are some of the things that you've kind of realized now about the software development world? Mm-hmm. Is there anything special that stands out? Uh, well, uh, first of all, definitely you have to get your things right. So your uh, like your coding skills and your uh, what kind of th- things you should use and not use inside your, of your code, um, that enables you to be a very good coder. Um, but when you are inside a company, um, I think more and more companies uh, and very good teams, uh, they expect you to think like a, a product manager or yeah. a yeah. Um, designer. And uh, they want you to work very closely, at least work very closely with the designers and also data scientists. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, back in uh, Little Red Book, we had a very rigid, not, not, not rigid, but like very very rigorous yeah. uh, A/B testing culture. Yeah, yeah. Um, where we have to work with, um, a, as a software engineer, we have to work with the designers, the product managers, and also the data data scientists uh, to push actually push a feature. So um, you you uh, n- negotiating skill is is very important, um, and uh, um, it, inside like uh, you have to have a little bit of uh, product sense uh, in order to create very good um, experiments, we call. Um, for example, like uh, a UI experiments or like um, um, performance experiments. And when, whenever you drive the data up, like the DAUs and the CES uh, indexes up, um, that's where your value really shines. Yep. So yep. yeah, definitely, first of all, get your things right. Like you know about performance, you know about uh, the UI, and then you go talk to the um, uh, product managers and also the data scientists what they want and what they, what they want to see inside of this uh, experiment and then you carry out a very good experiment um, yeah so I think a software engineer are is a very challenging job yeah. Um, yeah. In, in that sense because you really have to understand the whole picture of everything um, and especially your stuff which is like uh, your code yeah that's that's what I realized at Touch of Modern, the mm-hmm. last real job that I had. <laughs> uh, I remember when I got my raise at the end of the annual review, mm. uh, the raise was pretty much based on the performance of the features that I had built out. And the only way that I can measure that is through like daily conversions, tracking the metrics. And if you don't track that stuff, it's really hard to argue for. It's really hard, yeah. yeah. It's mm. like, how did you make an impact in this company? Well... If you don't have the numbers to prove it, then it's, mm-hmm. it's almost impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, good uh, Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> uh, so, where can we find you on the internet if anyone wants to find you? I know you're working on a secret app. So, <laughs> where can we find that when it comes out? Um, well, uh, you can add me on LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn? Okay. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. Yeah, sure. And also, uh, if you want to uh, contact me more, like know a bit more about my work and my experience, I have a blog running yeah. on my own website, uh, zdz.com. Which okay. Probably you can also <laughs> drop a link down below. <laughs> yeah, I'll put all the information down below. Yeah. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for your time today. Mm. And uh, I guess maybe we'll see you next time on the channel when you're free. Sure. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.